Heavenly Gifts Jesus Explains The Foolish and the Wise Virgin January 15th, 1843 The Lord says, Just right. The picture is right, but the words are still worldly, and the application is wrong, and thus does not withstand in a trial in every structure and progression from the bodily to the spiritual. So, we want to give this matter in a way that it certainly corresponds with all spheres. Therefore, write this image down as a correct parable. Whoever walks in my paths comes to the light. Yes, whoever walks upon my paths is already walking in the light and walks already upon the living paths. And I am the destination of the peregrination upon the bright path of life. But whoever walks upon the paths of the world and its prudence walks in the night. But the night is the death, and death is the destination of this peregrination in the night. Whoever walks with me walks correctly and will preserve his life, even if he would lose it a thousand times. But whoever seeks to preserve his life within the thicket of the world's night without me will lose it, even if he possessed it a thousandfold. But at that time, there will be two individuals upon the field. One will be taken in, and the other will be left in the judgment. And two will grind in the mill. One will be taken, and the other one will be judged. Thus, you cannot do anything to preserve your life without me. But with me, you are all powerful against death. Therefore, look at a parable. Whoever has ears shall listen and did not turn away an open eye from my mouth. It happened that two bodily related virgins lived in one place. One of them was rich with worldly treasures, while the other was poor. But they did have fellowship together and lived under the same roof. For the rich one was unwise, and she was in need of the poor one's wisdom. As long as the land was peaceful, everything was fine and the two virgins had it well together. But as soon as the land was afflicted with war, because of its worldly riches, a difficult test came upon the two virgins. When the war army approached their place, a great fear beset the rich virgin, so much that she became completely confused. But when she managed to distance herself from the initial days of fear, she bundled all her precious belongings together and did not forget the golden candlesticks and lamps. But she did not think about bread and oil. Together with all her treasures, she fled into a ravine in the mountains and hid within a dark cave. But the poor one thought to herself, Why should I hurry? All I have is my life. To preserve it, I need nothing else than bread. And to find my way around in a cave of the nearby protective mountains, I need a light. She took, therefore, a large amount of bread and a good lamp filled with oil with her. And she also didn't forget to take along a proper lighter. Since the poor one knew where her friend fled to, she followed her in order to serve her with her wisdom. But when she arrived at the cave and found some traces, which were a clear indicator that her friend had hid herself here, she started calling for her, and she looked everywhere for her with her burning lamp. But there was nothing to be found of the rich friend. So the poor virgin thought again, What do I want to do now? My friend has hid herself from me. I have bread, light, and enough oil. So I will stay here until the army has passed by, and then I will move back to my dwelling, where I will call the neighbors so they can help me find my friend. After many days, the army moved on, and the poor virgin did what she had set out to do. And look, the neighbors came with torches and searched the cavern, and they soon found the rich virgin. But she was dead. She had to starve and choke during the musty night in the cave of her mountain. The poor one inherited all the treasures of the rich one, made the most of it, and soon became the richest person in all the land. So, whoever seeks the life of the world will lose it and perish under its great burden. But whoever thinks little of it and rather seeks to preserve the life of the soul through the living bread and the righteous light is a wise one and skilled for the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, seek especially the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Everything else will be added to you. Who may serve two masters that are enemies among each other? 
Therefore, only serve one Lord in love and truth. Whoever does his work on the field for the true Lord, he will surely be recognized by the Lord and taken in. But whoever does the same work on the field of love and in the mill of truth, but out of self-interest, he will certainly not be accepted by the Lord. Walk in the light, therefore, and do what is of the Lord, namely, his will. Thus you will not choke and starve in the cave of selfishness. And the benefit that you will gain from the death of the world will be great, and you won't be able to measure the treasures with a measuring tool. Understand this and consider it spiritually and corporally. Amen.